um, we've used genuine pink leopard skin here, and they are difficult to catch. Very few of them, very difficult to catch. And this actually came off uh, one of my dressing gowns. The most amazing thing with a project like this is to see the designer's inspiration and I think if you walked along the windows and took all the names off um, you would actually realise exactly who had designed them. Well I'm very pleased to have my crown in the Harrods window and I think people will really enjoy it because look at that. It brings together design and craftsmanship. I just think the Queen is such an incredible person, she works so hard. She probably doesn't even have enough time to take the corgis out for a walk. It's a great honour to be in the Harrow's window and I think it's just part of the whole Jubilee thing. I, I think it'll, it'll be a real crowd stopper. In the window, so yeah, very excited. When we first heard about the Crown project... We were all a little bit scared of it because we thought... I've, I've never made a chocolate crown before. No, never into a crown. Because it's quite an intricate designed object. And I think it's something to really celebrate that we've been involved in. And we thought it has to be girly because the Queen is a girl. Of course, coronation themes, of course, the corgi. We looked at playing with colour. A beautiful 73 carat diamond. With corda and chocolate. So we have gathered in one object all the different elements from the bottle. Uh, and there it is, uh, a pink and black crown to celebrate the Jubilee. And we're very proud of it, we love it. And uh, we're really looking forward to seeing it uh, in Harrods. Who oh, no, what happened then? Well, we basically just got asked to do whatever we would like with, with the crown. And so we got sent a sort of, I suppose it just a steel crown, sort of a silvery colour crown. And, um, and judging by the room I'm sitting in, um, you can see that uh, I like stuff, any sort of stuff. And um, I just thought it would be really nice to make um, a crown that people were fascinated to really look at and discover things and also Mary Paul Smith. The most amazing thing about taking a project like this um, and coming up with one single creative brief is letting the designers uh, create through their own feelings. I mean, it's so wonderful to see how all the designers have used uh, their own inspiration to design such a beautiful, beautiful pieces of work. Well, when the crown first arrived here, our first instinct was that it needed to be covered in jewels. And so we sort of went down that road and we went off to the bead shop and came back with sort of loads of different stones and it looked terrible. And then we started working with bits of tapestry because we, need, we knew that we needed something soft to fill it up. What the rug company is really great at doing is making 2D objects. So what we're trying to do here is turn our 2D object into a 3D vision and it's always a little bit of a twist on the Union Jack which is sort of what the rug company does, they put that little twist into sort of Britishness. The inspiration for our crown, uh, we looked through our archives and we came up with the idea of taking the DNA from our core handmade suitcase. So we're using the exact same rivets and feet that we would on a suitcase as Globetrotter jewels. We're very honoured and privileged to be asked to take part in this very special project. I hope that the, the Royal Family would find the, the crown amusing. It's actually beautifully done and beautifully made, so I think anything that is well done and well made, like a well-told joke, uh, it transcends uh, banalities, and I think they love it. I think it would be a great thing to wear, perhaps not every day, but for very special occasions. The inspiration behind the crown was very much to mark a moment in time for the Queen's Jubilee. And so what we wanted to do here was to bring forward this idea of the crown as a passage through time. So what I wanted to do was hero the, the beautiful 73 carat diamond on the top, but then create this idea of what more is to come. So it's kind of supposed to be an inspirational piece for the people as well as, you know, um, paying tribute to the Queen and her 60 years on the throne. So, so the crown we're making today for the Harris window, the whole concept, the idea behind it, is to bring what we do as a business into the crown. So as you can see, it looks very, very pretty. And that's the whole, I guess, what we're trying to bring into the crown. You know, not only uh, be something great to eat, but also very visual. And I think it's quite a privilege to have the opportunity to put our work in the window. So yeah, very excited. 
Well, with two years um, in the designing and organising of this um, wonderful occasion, um, it obviously takes great pleasure for us to invite as many customers and people from around the world to come and visit um, this amazing exhibition uh, and what we've actually done for Her Majesty.